Hello boys and girls and welcome to a new episode of Unity 2D Tutorials and I uh, got it right this time after 5 tries <laughs> in this episode we're gonna talk about coyote jumping if you don't know what this is just wait for it coyote jumping I'm sure you've heard of it if not just like me I haven't heard, heard of it I know the edge jumping it's the mechanic that's used in games for you to be able to jump off the edge while running by default we have the jumping mechanics is whenever you're on the floor you can jump but what if you're running you're playing this fast paced game and then you need to jump right on the edge so you need to, so what happens here like if you come here so you're off the floor you can't jump anymore so we have we're going to implement a mechanic where it detects whenever you leave the ed, leave the floor you have a small time like a small period of time where you can jump off it which is really helpful for a lot of games and it actually improves a lot of game and play uh, experience for the players so let's start with it what, what we've done so far is we have our character controller and then again if you came to this video uh, without previous videos please check them out or go to the github for the full source for the full source code <laughs> uh, which is in the description below we've got ourselves a player that runs crouches walks and even double double jumps and uh, double jumping and coyote jumping it's a bit you know a bit tricky to implement both of them but it's always possible and since I wanna have this complex character controller which you can have a lot of stuff in I'm gonna implement both of them together <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how so for coyote jumping we need the mechanics uh, which is gonna go like this step by step <clears throat> As soon as we leave the ground, we need to have a small period of time where we can enable the player to jump, a normal jump, without him touching the floor. So in that sense, I'm not going to change the, the core mechanics of the jumping while I'm going to add something extra, which is coyote jumping. So I'm going to have to add something called coyote jump, and in here, we're going to have to do one thing. Since it, it, it all depends on the ground grounding checking, we'll have to work here. So the first step that we have to do is, <clears throat> before we click the jump, we want to see, did we leave the floor? If we did, <clears throat> enable this small period of timer. So in Unity, there's multiple ways of using timing timers, and uh, you can use the invoke. Uh, <clears throat> mechanic you can use the coroutine it all depends how the whole uh, procedure happens for me I'm gonna use coroutines because I want to have the ability to start it and stop it we've got ourselves here uh, a place where we detect the landing mechanics right what we need is we need to be able to uh, <coughs> sorry just one second <coughs> Alright, I'm back. We need to be able to actually detect when do we leave the floor. And um, there's two ways of this. And uh, you can either leave the floor by jumping or by just falling. And for us, both are similar. It's not a big deal. So what I'm going to do is, we've got this thing which actually can trigger whenever we touch a floor or a ground, sorry. And else means we're not touching anything. But, and uh, we're gonna call something from here that starts a timer. We're gonna call it once only, starts a timer. And in that timer, we're gonna enable the coyote jump, which gives us this tiny window of jumping while we're not on the floor. So let's start with making it. We can create an I enumerator. Let's call it coyote jump delay. That's good. So what when we start this, we enable the coyote jump and then we start the timer we write re yield return new wait for seconds and the value in here it all depends on you but f for me when I tested it the 0 0.2 was appropriate for me it all depends on the speed of the character the jumping that you want how far do you want him to go off the edge until he jumps for me 0 0.2 is fine but you can change it whenever you want and as soon as this ends go jump becomes false that's it that's all you need to do in here so <clears throat> we need to trigger this 
And when I need triggers, I need to trigger it once because you don't need to trigger a, a coroutine 20 times. It's it's not a good practice. It's it, it kills the whole thing. But if we if I start if I call this in here, and by the way, to call coroutine, you just write start coroutine and then write the whole name with open brackets and then close it. That's it. But the problem in here is this thing is gonna get called all the time, and we don't need this, right? We only need it to call once, and that once is as soon as we leave the floor. And uh, leaving the floor, as I mentioned, is two-way thing. Like it can happen either if we jump or if we fall off the edge. I'm not gonna implement this in the jump in here because the coyote jump is all about falling off the edges. But again, this will trigger also when we also jump. But I'll, we'll see the, uh, in the next couple of minutes how this works. So in order to make this, make sure that this only calls once, we have to work with the was grounded, right? So let's go with this logically. If we're standing on the floor and we're still standing, both was grounded and is grounded is going to be false. Uh, sorry, is true. Because our previous state is true and our current state is true. If we want us to be jumping off the floor, and I'm going to show you with my uh, amazing painting skills. So if you have a player standing, the is, which is current, and the was, which is our previous. Logically, if we're standing, it, should, it means true, true. If we're flying, it means xx, which, which means we were not on the floor in the previous frame and we're not in the floor in the current frame. But what we need is, we need a status that gives us the ability to know we jumped off the floor, or sorry, we fell off the floor. Which can translate into the current state, we're not on the floor, right? Which like, oh, we're flying right now, but we were on the floor. Oh, that, sorry, that, that's um, so it, we we're not we were we were on the floor, but we right now not on the floor. In this sense, means that like the player is here, right now he's not on the floor, but he was on the floor before. So that's the whole thing here. So we have to find a way to, to see that if he was on the floor, but right now not on the floor. That's a lot of floor words in here. Let's go back to the ground, uh -huh. and uh, and we can do this in here. So else means we're not currently on the ground, but we have to check if we were on the ground like this. Debug that log. Fell off. Like, let's say um, I'm not gonna say fell. I'm gonna say uh, off the ground. So if everything is good, as soon as we leave the, the floor, we'll get this call once. Let's go back. So we're going to get this started and uh, let's give it a test. So right now, you can, if you look at the debug console here, as soon as, as, soon as I jump, it's going to give me off the floor, which is correct like because we, we left the floor. And also similarly, as soon as we full of the edge it's gonna give it the same thing amazing that's exactly what we need so instead of calling I'm gonna take out the debug in here I'm gonna call this coyote jump delay so what this thing is we're gonna enable this for a, a really small period of time now let's jump into jumping if we go back to the update this is what we are dealing with jumping as soon as we click jump we have our own conditions here so coyote jumping, logically, it happens off the floor, which means we don't have to do anything in here. So because this this means we're on the floor and grounded. So we're gonna do our thing in here, and then um, in order to do the the coyote jumping, we have to do the check if coyote is true. So whenever we fall off the edge, this thing gets enabled for a split of a second, and then if we press space in that time, we're gonna do whatever we have in here. Coyote jump. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna make the coyote jump delay one second so we can see the results in a not you know <laughs> in a bad way. So I have to click keep on clicking. And uh, we don't have to worry about this thing in here because uh, 
we can access this only when we jump from the floor itself. So when we jump from the floor, this thing gets enabled. So this is, there's no risk for keeping here. So right now, let's go back to the script, the, the scene, and then um, I'm gonna do this thing. I'm gonna jump first to the upper edge, right? So we're here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run off the edge, and then in less than a second, I'm gonna press space, and then we're gonna have a debug in here that says Kyori jump. But the player is not gonna jump. It's just gonna have the debug. See, it's fine now. So that means we can enable the Kyori jump. In a Kyori jump, it's basically a normal jump, but in a Kyori position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna implement the exactly same thing as the jumping part. So when what happens is when we do the Kyori jump, we enable that multiple jump again. So it actually it's like we get back from here and we're back in here. And I guess it's that's everything in here. And uh, let's make this this proper value. Again, you can make this value a public in here or serialized on the top part and you can change it as much as you want. It all depends on you. I have to turn up. I have to t cancel my uh, drawing here. It's so good. Okay. So let's give it a test. Reminds me of, of that Looney Tune. Meep meep. I think that that's where it came, the naming came from. Yeah. So let's jump. So right now I can do one two right that's fine but what I can do is before actually I do this I have to add a coyote jump debug because I want to differentiate between uh, normal jump and multiple jump so debug that log See? jump I shouldn't have taken this out so it's back here let's wait for it to load <coughs> let's go into our final testing <laughs> okay 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 here we go so if you move Let's go. Come on, Foxy. Come on. Yeah, okay, we we in. So move, jump. Let's maximize this. Actually, no need. We need to see the debug part. So if I jump, that's fine. Everything is good. If I fall and I jump, nothing happens because that's a falling mechanic. But if I walk, see now it works. We got a Kyoto jump, and it looks much nicer when you're actually running, like this. See Kyoto jump. Kyoto jump. So that's it, we've got ourselves a coyote jump. I hope you guys and girls like this, uh, it's really helpful to implement in your game, it gives a lot of uh, feel in the gameplay, it makes people more of uh, intrigued in the game itself, because if you have a glitchy jumping mechanics, it's bad for everybody. Uh, I guess that's everything for now, if you like this, please hit the like and subscribe for more good content. Uh, otherwise, uh, leave a, a comment in the section if you have any questions or inquiry or even requests. Uh, other than this, you can join also uh, our Discord channel, also in the description. And uh, thank you. Bye bye.